That's nice. Ooh, we took out the boss and it's given us the extra skill bonus. Look at that. Those guys look so tired and silly. <laughs> hey everyone, it's Kosh. Recently, people have been recommending the game to me called Bang Bang Survival or BBS for sure. They say it's been incredibly stress relieving and it's pretty simple in the gameplay sense. There are three simple steps. Choose, upgrade and do the perfect clear. Let's go take a look. We go straight into the first level. We have the zombies coming up and we gotta fight them off. Otherwise, they will fight us down. Ammo running low. Request for reinforcements and we got the core. That's our special unit that will do a lot to the enemies. Look at that. Those guys look so tired and silly. <laughs> they went into the wrong place. So during the battle, you will level up when you kill enough zombies and you can select one of the three skills. Roguelike mechanics, I like that. And you can select different setups. Let's get the volley. It seems pretty good. Additional bullet projectile. Now we shoot two bullets instead of one, which gives away opportunities and guys we got the new skill let's try the em spike that sounds cool Ooh, we got the lightning on top of the enemies this is so cool the main character cannot move but needs to protect the wall from the enemies the fourth have limited amount of hp 3000 right now and the, the enemies can break it out so when the fourth hp will reach zero we will lose and we can't allow that let's fight them off Another level up, let's get extra combo, fire one extra projectile each time, so bam, we shoot two bullets to each, so we are getting even more DPS out. In early stages, the zombies are slow and weak, but you can see that the tougher enemies are coming towards us. Let's do another upgrade and a little bit damage, and yeah, the tough guys will require way more ammo to get them down. Look at that, those guys are tough, but our guns are tougher, so we can decimate them easier. Let's do another upgrade, and we will do upgrade for EM Strike. The enemies are getting closer, bam, 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 nice. So we got more weaponry right now, we got the fire bombs, we got the ice uh, projectiles, we got more ammo, and the enemies can hold on, look at that, it looks gorgeous. So as the stage progresses, the enemy keep coming, and they are more in numbers and strength but our weapons are getting stronger as well we're getting more and more upgrades and now we got explosive bullets we got a lot of different stuff that does enemy really good damage and uh i kind of love it look at that those guys don't stand a chance and in the end uh, we become way stronger by doing various upgrades we got the penetration for ammo we got multiple casts between the levels we can upgrade our character and our equipment so what we can do here we have different rewards on the left we can clear stage rewards we got the uh, rewards for actually doing good runs we totally perfectly clear the wave so we got the chest with extra equipment we also have events happening right now and there are sign in rewards as well some free tier rewards for free to play players as well and seven day gifts with various rewards for doing different tasks in the shop interface we can actually do the gacha mechanics and pull something cool we have 150 diamonds so we can do three pulls let's do that okay so the first one is the gem the second one is the gem and the third one is the gem those gems can be embedded into the equipment to make us stronger. This one gives 10 attack, that's amazing. Electromagnetic damage, skill, trajectory and travel speed higher for most weapons. Thermo bomb damage and 20% more damage to elite, monster and bosses that are really tough. We'll take a look at those a bit later. If you have multiple of the same type of gem, you can merge them in order to get something new. Bam, we got the new gem, which is way better than the normal one. So let's embed it and replace one of the weaker ones with this one. Here is our new shiny arm guard equipment which is way better than what we had before so let's replace it we can also do gear craft which is basically upgrading the gear slot which will give us additional attack we upgraded everything and become way stronger keep in mind that different gems have different bonuses to different skills and if you are focused on something specific you might want to go with that option we can also upgrade the gun which is character progression here we can get our basic weapon upgrades critical rate this is split bullet new ability for our gun so uh pretty nice upgrades we can also get different skins for our character to look better and unlock the new skills but that's for later they all look pretty cool though 
Ooh, nice. In the core interface, we can upgrade the skill. So if you have your favorite skill, keep it upgraded. Right now, we'll upgrade everything we can. Thermobomb level 2 will get explosive spark mechanics upgrade. And for ice bomb, small ice bombs generated from splitting can freeze targets. So that's the passive upgrade, which is even better. And here you can see all other abilities available in the game as well. There are plenty and they will be unlocked as you progress the game. You also got the base mechanics and here you can do several things. First of all, you can take a look at the zombies. So the enemies that you fought, you can see how they are what's their abilities and what's their features and kill count and also when you encounter them for the first time they will give you some diamonds also there is a cafeteria that will give you some food bonuses so you can play the game more during those bonus times there are other cool buildings that are locked right now that you will unlock as you progress the game and they will give you additional bonuses and abilities so there are some things to strive for so i played the game a bit more i've upgraded my character a bit we got pretty cool gear here we got uh, the second tier gear and we also get some really cool gems so close range enemies will get way more damage and we can upgrade gems as well if you get copies of those they can be tiered up you can also decompose the old gear for the gems that you can use later on to ascend gear but it requires quite a lot of old gear being decomposed into the craft stone we also get the AFK rewards for being offline, so those, and you can spend food on getting extra of those, will allow you to become stronger faster, so the game actually gives you something while you're not doing anything. Now let's give a go to level 5 Chaotic Port. This one is tough, so I hope our upgrades will help us to overcome the difficulties, because the enemies here are very evil so take a look at that one enemy takes quite a lot of shots to kill they are stronger than in previous levels and they come in numbers so we will try to focus on the bullet damage increase build so we'll be building the specific one or two types of weapons only not spreading us too much let's get additional em spike for extra dps that should help and we got a couple of other upgrades as well to make us stronger and take a look at that we are getting the tough guys, the big guys coming towards us, so we gotta be really careful. I actually never managed to complete this level, the enemies always overcame me, but I really hope that this time we will get enough firepower to fend them off. The big guys are really tough and hard to beat though. So yeah, this level is very tough, the enemies are extremely strong, they take a lot of bullets to take down, and... I never actually managed to beat this level. Let's see if we'll be able to do that right now. The thing is, there are a lot, a lot of strong enemies, so we have to build an AOE build here. Let's see if we'll get lucky with that, because this is still a roguelike game, and you can get random upgrades which will or will not work for you. Let's get Energy Beam. That pierces through all enemies and should be really good for good AoE. Let's get EM Spike for faster dispatching the enemies that are nearby. EM Spike will get more damage and paralysis duration. That's nice. That will slow the enemies down. Now we will increase the damage of Energy Beam. EM Explosion will give a small range explosion. Which is really cool because that will allow us to do some more AoE. Another EM Spike release. That's nice. Oh, look at that. Three EM bonuses. EM Strike explosion damage or another EM Spike. Let's get another EM Strike that will give us ability to throw those more. That would be nice. Yeah, it works way better now. Look at that. We need more damage though. Now, this is cool. EM Matrix generates low damage and slowing effect within the em explosion range sweet so now the em strike will get some damage over time effect on the enemy em spike damage let's go em fission that would be good more particles more aoe should be nice bam sweet i hope it will be enough to take the enemies out em matrix damage and duration let's go we are really focusing on em strike right now and even more damage to em particles i'm really hoping that will be enough and we have the boss incoming Oh my god, are we able to hold off? We have only half of our health left. EM spike damage, uh, let's go. And oh, look at that! That's a huge ball! Oh my god, this is huge. I hope we'll be able to fend off. Oh, this is ugly! Look at that! That's insane! Let's get a matrix damage bonus. I really hope that that should be enough to take out most enemies. It also damaged the boss now, that's cool! So we can defeat the boss before it will reach our gates. Uh, we just need something to protect our gates, though. That dude have four health bars. It's getting lower, though. That's nice. Ooh, we took out the boss, and it's given us the extra skill bonus. 
I hope it'll be something good. Team Spike Explosion Damage, that's what I need. That's what I need, guys. And we got something that we don't really like. Let's get the armored vehicle to slow the enemies down. Look at that, it's going right through the enemies. So cool. It feels the situation is a bit better right now than it was before. Armored vehicle strike plus one. Let's go. We needed to slow the enemies down mostly. Yeah. So satisfying. Love it. Energy beam causes monster to take more damage. Let's go. I think we can just pull it off. Yeah, metrics damage and duration. Uh, let's go. I really want to win this because this would be cool. This is very hard level with the boss and everything. And like... The enemies are so close, but we kind of thin them off. And if we will take out the enemies that are really close to our fort, we should be okay. It seems we are winning these guys. Amazing. Yeah, those are the last of them and they are not going anywhere. EM Strike saved the day today. There we go. We won. And uh, that was a really fun fight. I actually enjoyed it. It was intense. And moreover, when you win the level, the patrol gain is getting more resources for you. So when you finish each next level each next stage it will be upgraded and it will give you more resources let's use our resources that we found to get stronger so gun damage and everything and we can pull even tougher enemies down now it's super fun download bank survivor now and you can also enter the gift codes redemption codes over here to get extra prizes bank 666 777 888 and other codes that are linked in the video description to receive the limited edition zombie rifle and a lot of upgrade materials to make your character stronger. You will also get a chance to win iPhone, PS5, Switch and other luxurious prizes. Let's experience this thrilling mobile hacking slash zombie game together.